everyone. Here is a complete overview of Zuper's email templates and workflow settings. To create or edit email templates, go to Settings, scroll down to Other Settings, and click the Email Templates button. Here you will find all the templates that are available in Zuper. We create email templates so that we can pre-populate a message or email template so that it can be used by technicians or our back office team to send out an email to the customer properly. To create a new template, click the New button, provide a name for the template, select the module in which it will appear, and then give a description for it. Once the relevant information is provided, you can customize the subject and body for the email template and save it. In your email template, you can also use the relevant components based on the module that you select. Once the information is selected, you can save it so that anytime you send an email to the relevant customer in the module, you can call upon the relevant template. To edit an existing template, you can also click on the edit button to make any changes to the existing template and you can save it. I hope that gives you insights about our email templates. Next, we'll be looking at workflow settings. To create or edit a workflow, go to Settings, scroll down to Other Settings, and click on Workflows. Using Workflows, you can automate any monthly task that you could define logic to. To create a new workflow, click on the New button. Here you will be able to provide a name and description for the workflow. You can also select to whom the workflow applies and if the workflow needs to trigger another additional workflow. Once you make the relevant configurations, you can create the new workflow. So when creating a new workflow, you must first select which module the workflow applies to. In this scenario, we'll create a workflow to assign a job to a technician if the job comes from a specific zip code. I'm going to select the jobs module, followed by which I'm going to choose the event as new job creation. Every time a new job comes into the product, we will trigger this workflow. Now we're going to set the condition here. I'm going to check if the respective job falls under a specific category, which is going to be AC service, and we're going to check if the address of the respective job will have those particular zip codes. So I'm going to search for zip code in the fields, and in the zip code, I'm going to say the condition as contains, and I'm going to say if it has the value 100. Every time a new job comes into Zuper, we're going to check the respective conditions, which are as if it is an AC service job. If it contains the respective zip code in it, and if it does, we can go ahead and perform the respective actions. So the actions can be done on all the respective modules as well. In our case, since we want to update the respective technician on the job, we can go ahead and select the module as jobs. We can select the action type as an update. And in the type of operation, we can say update job assignment. Here I can go ahead and select which type of assignment we need to do so that it can be assigned to all from a team. So in that case, we can select a particular team. So now what the respective workflow does is anytime a new job is created in Zuper, it will check for the job category and check if the respective job has a zip code of 100 in it. And if it does, it will automatically assign it to all the users in Team A. Similarly, we will be able to create all workflows in the system for the different modules available. I hope that gives you a good insight into workflows and the process of working with them. We certainly hope that you find the demonstration and overview helpful. If you have any questions, please reach out to us or click on the link in the description below to schedule a personalized demo with us. Thank you and have a great day.